<clears throat> so I was <clears throat> channeling in um, to connect with my star family and uh, connected with a blue avian. It comes in two parts. So the first part is my description of the feeling and then also the channeled message. So my description of the event goes along like this. So I connected to and with a blue avian, a friend of me on another planet. <clears throat> it turns out I thought it was Arcturus. Arcturus in the Boots constellation on my wrist lit up as I was connecting. It is that connection of love and reconnection with roots that I find most interesting and fascinating here though. It's like reaching home and relaxing or breathing into that space. The being I connected with, his name was Tathala. Absolutely stunning creature. I could touch his beak and his body, feeling the scales and the feathers, seeing and feeling the intricacies of it all, the tiny details you really have to take time to focus in on, like when you look really closely at our skin cells. But like on his beak, I was looking at the flakes of keratin, I could feel the razor sharp edge of his beak too. That, that was amazing. Dark blue small feathers with like an electric etheric blue living light inside of him as well. Uh, black skin. He had four fingers and feet of, of a bird. And I was shown how his fingers could shift into feathers completing his wings. I guess the difference between standing and flying. The society that they lived in were ball-like plant things. They were kind of balls on poles. Some of them two or three balls high. And they were kind of like... Um, like the... Uh, if you know the Banksia seed pods, were kind of like that. But instead of elongated, they were circular. So... All of the seed pods, the horizontal oyster things that come out of the seed pod itself were, were more like windows. Um, if you know what I'm talking about, then that makes a lot of sense. If you don't, then you're probably like, what the fuck? <laughs> Just Google image of Banksia seed pod and then imagine it as best as you can based on what I've described. These things were kind of like coral, I guess. They were hard and dense. But they were also light, as in to lift, and also uh, living as well, you know, like coral. No leaves were on any of them, so that's what makes me think that they weren't more like trees, because they didn't have any foliage of any kind. Um, and yet, definitely not like plant, uh, not, not like wood. Um, there were kids running around everywhere, all sorts of beings living laughing together as life goes on. It was absolutely beautiful. Some of the seeds that you showed me. So while I was connected, he put his hand on my third eye. He put his hand up and touched my third eye with one of his fingers and projected into my body and kind of channeled through me for this. And this is what he channeled through me while he was connecting to me. He goes on to say, <clears throat> um, in general advice, because it was framed around the basis of what general advice um, can we get in order to be able to increase our movement towards our ideal optimized timelines. So uh, he goes on to say very quickly and succinctly as the connection is solidifying, he says, offers offer emails and similar efforts, restore your websites, and play the game. Engage and try. Don't forget to enjoy and be carefree about it all. The key here is expression of soul. With that, your fire will burn brighter than ever before, brighter than most could comprehend. Specifically, I give you the opportunity to flow with this design of current in the form of communication, where you can grow into what you need to be. That is done through connections such as this, whereby you give permission for yourself to flow the information as is needed 
in and out of the relative components just as you are. Feel the energy of the connection. See me tapping into your reality with your permission through your third eye. Then able to see that energy as it flows into your body the whole time as it flows from me. This is what you do when you are conscious of what is going on around you. You are somewhere doing to your body what I am doing to you now. So what is there as difference? Not much at all aside from perceived difference. The reality is the same. It is you or I or me or us for we are the same as one. You are not a star family member. You are the star families. Thank you for connecting to us in the love and light of the one infinite creator. So the relative components that he mentions and the connections that I could feel were how he, he was tapping me on his third eye and on, on my third eye, sorry, and projecting his consciousness through my third eye, which was going to my body through the light tunnel back to my body sitting in my house, which ran down into my arms, which then were hovering over my keyboard, and I was touch typing with my eyes closed, and I could feel the connection of him, like I could basically see him in front of my eyes the whole time that I was typing, and I was focusing on the connection of the energy that he had with me while I was typing. The typing just came through and flowed automatically from that, as long as I focused on that connection. So this is, excuse my amazing Australian language here, fucking amazing, right? <laughs> my flaw. Oh, it was a wild, amazing, ex and so vivid. Like, I, I mean, I literally ran my thumb along the curve of his beak. It was phenomenal, absolutely life-changing. And I'm excited about where it's going to go from here. <laughs> Super excited.